Hello Grade Ones, welcome back to this lovely maths lesson brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. I'm so glad to have you here with me today. My name is Teacher Dai. If this is your first video that you are watching with us, then a special warm welcome to you. I'm so glad that you've joined us and I hope you're going to enjoy learning something new. Now if you've been joining us for a while or you've watched lots of videos, then welcome back. Good for you for coming back to learn some more maths. It's so great for us to think about numbers and maths words, making us into real smarty pants, eh? Okay, if you have any questions while I'm speaking, send an email to the address on your screen now, grade1 at worksheetcloud.com, and I'll do my best to get back to you. All right, let's get started. Today, we're going to be talking about position in maths. Now, position means, where is it? can also mean left and right. Do you know which hand is your left hand? Which hand is your right hand? Can you raise your right hand? That's the one most of us write with. We hold a pencil in our right hand, so it's easy to remember. Some of us write with our left hands though, so that trick's not going to help us. Can you raise your left hand? Put it in the air. Okay, good. Right and left. Those are position words that help us. And today we're going to be learning a couple more. Okay, join us. Let's go. Before we get started, we have to warm up our maths brains. And today, because we're doing maths words, we're going to warm up with some number names. Now, you can write a number. If I say to you, write the number four, you can do that. You also need to be able to read the word four. Now, number names need to be sight words. That means you need to see them and say them. You can't always sound them out. Some of them are a bit tricky. So if you go through these words and you really don't know all of them, maybe you can ask mom or dad to help you write them on a piece of paper and then you stick them up near your bed or on the fridge and you read them, read them, read them until you know them. Okay. Let's get started. What does this say? Seven. Good. One. Ten. Two. Six. Are you saying them with me? Good. Nine. Three. Five. Four, eight. Well done. Okay, now we're going to learn some more number names. These are what I call the teenager numbers, like 16 and 17. But you know, it's actually not too difficult if you can read your number names up to 10. We're just adding on this word here called teen, teen, teen. So look here, four, we can read. 14. 14. Do you see? Let's do another one. 16. 16. You try this one. Yes, 17. 18. 18. 19. 19. Well done. Now let's see if you can read them by yourself. You try and say them before me. What is this one? 14. And this one? 16. Up here? 17. Down here? 18. Very good. How about here? 19. Well done. Now you can read all the numbers up to 10 and we've added in five more. Very good. Okay, let's get back to our position words. Where is he? This is my little monster friend and he is hiding and you have to tell me where he is. Okay, are you ready to try? Where is he? There's a box. Can you see my monster friend? Where is he? He's in the box. In is a position word. In the box. Let's do another one. Where is he? He is on the box. That's right. Can you say that? He is 
on the box. Great. Where is he? He is under the box. Under. Can you say that? He is under the box. Good. Another one. Where is he? Feels a bit trickier, hey? He is in front of the box. Look at that. The box is behind him, which means he is in front of the box. Uh oh, now where is he? You can just see his eyes. He's hiding behind the box. Behind. Very good. Where is he? Where's the monster? He's not in or on or in front of. He is next to the box. Next to the box. Those are position words. Next to. How about now? Where is he? There are two boxes and he is... Now some of you might want to say he's in the middle and you'd be right. The word I was looking for is between. That means in the middle. Sometimes we use this referring to numbers as well. We'll say, what number is between 3 and 5? And then we know that 4 is in between 3 and 5. So this word is a position word that helps us with objects, also helps us with numbers. Okay, let's keep going. Now you've got to tell me in a sentence like this, he is the box. Can you do it? So try this one. He is in the box. Good. Next one. He is on the box. Very good. Make your sentence. Did you say he is under the box? Then you'd be right. Okay, make a sentence with this one. He is in front of the box. Good. Now, make your sentence. He is behind the box. Very good. And now, he is next to the box. Great. Last one. He is between the boxes. Very good. Well done. Do you want to play a game? Three points. There are three questions. Each one is worth one point. See how many points you can get. Okay, you have to say the answer before me. Okay, it says, the monster is, number A, in the box. The monster is in the box. Is that true? Or B, the monster is next to the box. Is that true? Or C, on the box. The monster is on the box. Okay, which one do you choose? In the box, next to the box, or on the box? Quickly decide. Hey, shout it out. Is that answer A, B, or C? Shout out A, B, or C. Did you say? A, the monster is in the box. If you said it, you get one point. If you got it wrong, don't worry. There's still two points up for grabs. Okay, another one. The monster is, have a look at the picture. Is he A, in the box, B, between the boxes, or C, on the box? Quickly decide, in, or between, or on. Shout out A, B, or C. Quickly do it. What do you say? Okay, let's see. Did you say B, the monster is between the boxes? Then you'd be right and you get another point. Okay, one more point up for grabs. The monster is, look at the picture, A, behind the box, B, next to the box, or C, on the box. What do you say? The monster is, shout out the letter, the letter, A, B, or C. He is A. Behind the box. The monster is behind the box. Then you get another point. Well done. You've learned those words so well and they're going to help you lots in your maths. 
It's always good to know your maths words as well as the numbers. Okay, have a lovely day, grade ones. Thank you for joining me. I hope you will join me again for lots more videos brought to you by Worksheet Cloud.